Recording started. And I clicked Game the right one. Loading. I almost didn't. <laughs> I almost clicked my Tetris layout. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so when are we going to play Tetris? Yo, I'm down. I've been playing Tetris with Miles the past couple days. <laughs> I don't Is know if you... coming over or net play? Uh, I mean, just like solo basically also i'm gonna do the same thing as last time where i just watch through it once and then go back and break stuff down a bit more nice. but yeah i don't know if you saw but he definitely did a tetris stream earlier today for like two and a half hours while i was at work <laughs> oh did he yeah nice miles i guess he was serious about that chat <laughs> oh no yes joey about how to become a streamer oh yeah i uh i helped him too <laughs> Okay, though. What's your round start? Uh, okay, right. Also, I'm focusing mostly on Chari here. Uh, for Chari, round start far slash, yeah, that is a super good default option. A uh, little bit risky against Jam, because she has, like, Swoos to go under it, but that is, like... Round start Swoos is really hard, by yeah. the way. Oh, just, like, the input, or...? Uh, well, it's 236SP. But it's got, like, at least nine frames of counter hit that's not low profile. Gotcha. Like, it, it, me doing that on round start is, like, super call out on, like, a slow button. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, far slash is just, like, a really safe round start. <laughs> okay, real quick, I just want to see how this... Okay, yeah. Just DP trade. But the oh, setup that's... seemed great. You <laughs> got him. <laughs> All right. Dude, I have such a big brain. Uh, meaty timing was off there, but <laughs> man, you really like wake up DP. It's really, it's really strong against Ram specifically because even if I trade, she doesn't have good Oki anymore. True. Uh, I, I she does of... have the option to just run up and block though, and then you extra die. <laughs> Not really, because I. It... If they block my DP, I just go into uh, Gakirin, and if I have meter, I wire see it, and I'm uh, in a slightly worse position, but up. So, I think that in that situation, uh, if Chari were to block, the sword would just come in and counter hit you. Oh, that is true, I guess. And that sounds like a real painful starter. I don't know for sure, but like, just that's my hunch. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I really expected that to double whiff. Ooh. I'm assuming that wasn't supposed to be the jump over from Chari, but... Oh, blocking uh, that... stops the sword swings? Okay. Uh, well then, if he really hard calls it out with a back dash... <laughs> but yeah. that's a... That's a big brain play there. Yeah, no, just do the Potemkin. I run, run up to Oki? Or, I... <laughs> Camera fall up to Oki? Backdash. <laughs> Alright, so real quick, I don't remember if you were there for the uh, time when we went over dealing with Ram's 2kk, but do you remember how that move works? Uh, I definitely don't. Okay, so it's three hits, right? Yeah. But it's 2k, and that's the first hit, and then yeah. 2kk is just two low hits. So once you block the first one, uh, A, it's always a low. The third one is. Sorry. Once you block the second one, the third one is always a low. And B, uh, if you instant block the third one, then she's like extra negative, and you can just like run up and press buttons. Yeah, I think generally at that range, I don't really even have to instant block. I can just sort of press buttons anyway. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, in general, yeah. uh, instant blocking, that's, like, a good habit to get into. <laughs> oh, my God. Jam boxes. Yup. What even are hitboxes? So, 
I'm assuming it's not super viable against Jam, but uh, Char, you might want to think about doing some like pseudo zoning a little bit more with the swords, because you set them out and like get them ready to swing, but then a lot of time you end up calling them back or like using a super right as they're about to swing. Uh, and quite a few times here, uh, Daimony would have just gotten hit by the swing itself. <laughs> counter hits why? <laughs> that, okay, those counter hit confirmed are so whack. Because it only matters if they're counter hit uh, if I'm close enough to the corner to get a wall bounce. Mm. Oh, right. Uh, here, real quick. Oops. Select the right window. That helps. Uh, in situations like this, what overhead option do you have? Is it just the jump 2k? Or... Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you I, have... I guess I could... Oh, actually, technically, I could safe jump off of that, and I forgot to do it here. Alright, sorry, I'm meaning, like, in this situation. Oh, uh, that situation? Yeah, is it uh, just TK? Uh, it's Kara Cancel, uh, Kikirin. Right, or... okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, or it's 2D jump cancel uh, instant overhead, which okay. can be plus can if be. I do it right. Uh, it, okay. It's specifically... Yeah, it, it's like one of the hits, right? Like the second it, one? So if I can space it right and get exactly the first hit, then, then it'll be plus. Okay. Uh, then Which... here, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit different route than I was initially planning to. What is, uh, if you wouldn't mind... Oh! Damn! Uh, thanks, Pat! <laughs> I was wow. going to go check out that stream when I was done with this. Uh, guess it's done. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Diamond Mew, would you mind explaining the, like, the basic mix-up off of this? Because it's like, if you... <laughs> hey, thanks, man! Uh, if you do this and they faultless, then they get pushed out yeah, too far so to really continue pressure right? if if they see 5h if they faultless i have to basically preemptively do 2h because if i i can't react to faultless with a button that lets me stay in pressure okay so uh, i have to either know they're doing faultless to do a faultless safe option if i'm doing this block string mm -hmm. uh plus they should anyway because 5 5h cranks risk uh, ah, super hard. Okay, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> uh, Good to know. Yeah, like if you look at the risk gauge, just these three hits will do a lot. Well, I guess I canceled it super early because I was afraid of faultless. Mm -hmm. But even then, that's like a lot of risk. And then, so that's the 5H, um, faultless pushes them out, and then 2H drags them in. How does that interact with uh, faultless and instant block? Uh, so, instant blocking 2H is a true throw punish basically, okay. uh, because you don't get pushed out as much, and in fact, you get dragged into throw range. So, like, if you instant block that hit... Uh, uh, let's see. This one here? That, yeah, you get dragged in, and I'm minus, and I can't... I, I have to cancel this hit into 2D to stop your throw. I just okay. true string into low. And that's... that's okay, how so I it is still throw. a 50-50 between them trying to throw and getting 2D'd, and them just, like, down backing and you continuing pressure you can id off, or uh, sorry instant overhead off that right off yeah of 2D? Off of 2d is don't cancelable for okay. some ungodly reason <laughs> hey, i mean it makes sense <laughs> uh, jam would be kind of a struggle without it i think but i mean i don't even use the jump cancel that often like that was supposed to be jump cancel to overhead sure uh, yeah, so just wanted to make sure that you, uh, that Chari understood, like, that interaction, and that you generally, you want to FD if they're doing the hits that push you out, to just go further out, and if you're getting pulled in, uh, try an instant block, and then choose whether you're gonna down, back, or throw. Yeah. Honestly, if everyone started FDing as soon as I hit buttons on them, my life would be so much harder. <laughs> it's like, a uh, unhawk in BB Tag. <laughs> How dare yeah. you push block? Yeah. Also, wow. Trade of the gorillas right here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get Ooh. punished, so it was clearly worth. 
Okay, a little bit early on that uh, sword there, Chari, but I think you realized. Is plus after that overhead? I think so. Um, I'm not sure how plus or what option Chari went for, though. <laughs> uh, you can YRC in time, right? Well, nope. You, if you could YRC there, you could have YRC'd in time. Yeah, it would have been PRC, but... Uh, fair, but it also would have not died. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Presumably. I'm saving the meter for the next round. Ooh, okay, so I don't know how purposeful this was, but this neutral jump to put you in the corner there is like galaxy brain if it was on purpose to call out the 6H. Please stop pressing 6H. That is the moral of the night, yes. <laughs> It's an overhead attempt. Quote unquote. Are you going for a uh, jump 2k or it's like jump 2k, 2K. Gekurin? Okay. Uh, oh my I... god, that hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... Okay, hold up. What the hell are you doing, Chari? Oh, is that jump squat frames? Uh, okay, you could have faultless here. But I think he thought he'd just be out of the way in time or something. Mm. Yeah, that's, uh... oh. yeah, that's a tricky range Damn. to deal with that. Just kind of got a block afterwards, right? Uh, that... I, I mean, that, that like... wasn't somewhere I was plus, but it's also kind of ambiguous sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that was, I don't know uh, what buttons could have gotten there and beaten yours. Yeah. Okay, uh, definite thing to watch out for, Chari, is you're getting hit by a lot of DPs. Um, it's really important that you recognize that and then either safe jump or at least uh, bait it. Like, it is a cancelable one, but it still gives you more options if you block it and, you know, you don't get hit. Oh, okay. Try said he was going for another jump 2D there. <laughs> On the uh, super jump. Or jump against super earlier, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. I like the recognition that you woke up first in the scramble, so it's instant overhead time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How's the blender? Here we go. <laughs> <we> go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, this ending is so what? fucking, uh... I, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> like, I remember this. Both me and Chari and you watching us are all just like, what is going on? Okay, so, uh... <laughs> what an ending. Anyways, let's go over it in a little bit more depth here. Um, so round start, I already talked about this really briefly. Far slash is good. I think you do it in snare forward. Okay, you do faultless. It, it's safer. It like is a good way of taking space, but watch out for like multiple five p's or six p's because you will run out of faultless meter. Only Joey manages five p against me. <laughs> okay, so there was a little bit of a delay there on Charlie's hit confirm. Just didn't react correctly quite in time, but like that's totally fine. Man. Ooh, good stagger pressure. Uh, also good on you, Diamond Mew, for not biting there. But like the setup itself was pretty solid, and I don't think that that five uh, KKK is super punishable. But yeah, make just like a mental note, Chari, each time you see yourself get DP'd. So that's one so far. Uh, here's one of the ones I was talking about where if you'd let the sword up here swing, it would have just hit. But uh, I think that's like I was not also, the worst thing ever. I was also preemptively throwing out jump slash a few times there, trying to hit the, the swords before they hit okay. me. Okay, sure. Then it might not have worked. There's DP2. Good knockdown. And you're getting uh, some pretty solid Oki setups. You're just... Like, there, uh, I think... Diamond Mew was expecting you to try and bait the DP because he'd already shown it twice. Um, and so you just, you know, opened him up instead. But make sure that when someone has shown that they are willing to DP, 
a bunch, that you show them that you're willing to kill them for it. <laughs> so what's it like to get a instant overheaded Diamond Mew? <laughs> eh. It's fine. Oh, okay. This is so, or like, such an unfortunate timing. All right. Also, that DP. <laughs> that DP. I'm assuming that was supposed to be, to be a Ryujin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I keep accidentally doing tech forward DP. Joey, stop me. Stop making me think of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, right here, I don't think this is on purpose, but uh, same thing I was telling Dre earlier. Be really, really careful about OTGs, especially because you do it. Um, or sorry, you actually you do it and you realize you did, so you don't go for the sword set, which is like that is really good recognition. Uh, and that's what lets it not turn into, like, a trash fire. <laughs> but it still is weaker Oki than normal. Also, uh, hey, hey, Tyler. Hey, uh, remember I thought, the thing I was okay. saying earlier about running up? <laughs> I, so, my brain was like, okay, I've hit it with instant air, uh, instant overhead so many times. He's, he's gonna let me just press button. Nope. Okay, that's fair. As long as you, like, as long as there was the thought process behind it, then honestly, that's fine. So like, um, just watch 50, out 50, to make sure that it broken. doesn't happen, like, the next time as well. Yeah. Yeah, good DP out. Um, that was a, like, pretty loose Oki situation. Oh, and, uh, Cherry, remind me in chat when you've got a sec. Uh, what your, like, normal enders that go into safe jump are. I know we worked on one or two, but I don't remember what they are. <laughs> it was, like, something into IAD. Man. Also, also throwing out more of the command grabs <laughs> would be... Well, they, they really screw me up, at least. Mm -hmm. Uh... Chari is fairly good about using them, kind of like I was talking earlier with like the grappler thing, where it's just like, okay, this is a nuke. People yeah. are gonna forget about it, and then they're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, but at least definitely against me. Even if he threw it out twice as much, I think I would still get hit by it every time. Yeah, I feel that. Because <laughs> like, yeah, again, I get oh, hit by uh, it. Oh, right, that's the other thing. Um, I know Chari has been working on and off on getting like reliable about the confirm off of the throw so that's probably the other part of why he doesn't go for it as much mm, and yeah yeah if you can get into like 5k kk enders um <laughs> yeah then that's probably <laughs> a really good idea especially against like diamond mew here who's going for the dps all the time well not all the time but like you know semi-regularly hey when i'm not if, if you see me getting counter on wake up that was a dp attempt hold up was this double 6p Is that uh, your 6p or your far slash? Oh, no, that's 6p. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to hit a far slash. Ouch. Ooh, okay, yeah. That's a very important burst. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this worked out for you, but uh, you were in a very risky situation there because you are now in the corner off of your own like good confirm. There. Uh, also, yeah, Chari here, he realized that the first couple times you were going for the instant overhead ender, um, and so he swapped to starting to stand block, and I just don't think he managed to quite adjust back afterwards, after you started going for the lows, but good adaptation on your end, good command grab. But yeah, as you can see, he's like, he's getting the damage, but, like, from the throw itself, but he's getting a whole lot of, like, combo stuff off of it. Mm -hmm. So, that's a very important thing to, uh... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, uh, the 5k ender doesn't combo unless they're... Or doesn't knock down if they're airborne, so it's hard to combo into. But yeah, so try definitely try and work on that command grab combo. Uh, I don't know if it's, like, different based on weight classes or what. I would assume at least to some degree. But it's that's going to be real important. Uh... Just like pay attention to the number of times that you've <laughs> uh, hit him 
and just like didn't get Oki afterwards, and remember how important Oki is to Ram. So I talked about that one the first time. <laughs> oh, that was such a big raid. Yeah, I was gonna say I actually I like really respect that because like the five K is negative but not super, so you're just gonna like block to stay safe after your turn you're like nah what if you died <laughs> uh, i mean i especially love abusing also Gabe's just real rage. quick i'm just gonna talk about this one more time um pay real close attention to the number of times you get comboed into or you know you get block strung into this like 5h 2h pressure and just Remember, when you see these moves, it's time to faultless, and then time to instant block. Mm. Oh, also, uh, don't, like, I wouldn't feel too bad about getting hit by this one, because every time up until now, Tyler's been doing 2D instant overhead, and this yeah. time he goes for the second low. So, like, yeah. good call trying to block things, he was just, like, the one level ahead. Okay. Here, though, I'm going to say the exact same thing I did to Dre earlier, which is, uh, this, you're like, you're getting a, some level of neutral win in the corner, and you can either use this to, like, you know, land and do it again, or you can, <laughs> uh, or you can use it to just, like, okay, whatever, I'm giving up my turn, I don't care, I'm out of this corner. Because you never want to be Elfo. in the corner. Yeah, no, that is that is very smart. Uh, get the hell out of the corner <laughs> against that shotgun. But just like look for times where you don't always have to play where you are. You can just be like, later, I'm going the hell over there. And yeah, this one was the uh, caught first frame of jump. <laughs> Dude, Rip. my brain is so small. I have no idea why I wanted to do that. <laughs> I'm going to assume it was some level of, well, you know what? He's hit me with three jump dusts. <laughs> this one's invincible. <laughs> uh, no, I was just trying to meet him, you know? It, ooh. <laughs> uh, questionable decision, but, you know. Uh, yeah, that one, uh, like, I wouldn't feel too bad about getting hit there because it had been a while since you'd seen the DP. I'm assuming that jump dust did not go the direction you wanted it to. <laughs> okay, good knockdown though, and... Ooh, yep, jump the super. Uh, okay, you hesitated a little bit on the punish, and that could have, uh... Like, hesitating here, that's like, totally normal. But you gotta try and be super ready for like, okay, either this has hit me, or I'm just going to land and immediately go into stuff. I'm actually assuming that you double tapped forward, like, here and got walk instead of run and that's what screwed you up but just you know situations like this it's very important to try and get the dash timing uh hell just go into training mode like set the dummy to 100 meter they will super every spare minute that they like every spare second that they have i swear to god <laughs> and just like practice dashing out of landing at different weird timings uh because this would have turned into a combo Jam does not have burst, and then you get, you know, ram corner Oki, but instead it got a reset to specifically mid screen neutral. Yeah. Something else in those situations where one person is mm -hmm. definitely minus, uh, but they're like, and they're definitely going to block, is I throw out my throw there all the time. Yeah, that's really smart. It's like, well, what are they going to do? Press buttons when they're minus? I'm going to throw you instead. That's really, really smart until you fight Joey and he DPs you. Oh, no. Eight I times know. in it a row. It doesn't work against him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If everyone was unpredictable as Joey, then I couldn't win. <laughs> oh, yeah. I cannot believe you win this. Like, very specifically... I cannot believe you win from here. But I think so does this sword corner pocket you? Is that what happens? Uh 
Yes. I think I'm just a genius, and, uh... No, the sword corner pocketed you and pulled you out... Or So, yeah. The sword hit you and pulled you out of the corner to let him corner pocket you. Uh, but he then went for a delayed move. Uh, I think that if he'd just, like, done a falling move, it probably would have caught you cross-up. But I don't think either of you were expecting that to corner pocket. <laughs> so uh, Also, I'm 100% sure that 5H was a throw. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Also, you just barely stuffed two of those, uh... Uh... I don't remember what the name of that move is. The yeah. overhead, though. <laughs> Also, during that end scramble, I'm pretty sure Charlie was also trying to do a super. Uh, he I said got, he was going I... for throw. Hmm. I don't know. I, I thought I remembered something about a conversation on that day when he, he was like, I was trying to super, but like, oh. Mm. Uh. Also, yeah, Dre, no kidding. I want some fried rice now, too. <laughs> I've been wanting Chinese food for like four months. Damn, that's a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. I never go. I just <laughs> Anyways, so let's see. Outro stuff. Uh, gonna do Chari first again, because you're here. Yeah, orbital. Okay, that's the overhead. So Chari, um, get your combo off of throwdown consistently. And be willing to block or like, you know, big brain call out backdash on Oki sometimes if they've shown that they are willing to DP. Because sometimes people just like won't show that, and so you don't have to respect them until they do. But like if you're fighting Joey or someone who has DP'd twice in the match total so far, it's something you gotta be looking out for. Uh, otherwise, honestly, you're doing pretty solid. You had some solid frame traps in there, decent high-low mix-up. Uh, I know that you're working on finding another corner combo that has I believe that has swords out at the beginning. I think you have the one with the sword set. I don't remember. I know you have one of them and are working on the other. So just like keep up on that. Good stuff. Um, oh, and uh, sometimes when you're in the corner, don't be afraid to just like bail out. Be like, I don't care. I'm resetting to neutral. I just do not want to die in this corner. Uh, let's see. For you, Diamond Mew... Probably mostly just, uh, I don't know, like, you were doing pretty well that game. You definitely had some 6Hs and, uh, like, some habit 6Hs and puffballs and stuff. Uh, yeah. I, think I don't think I, they like... were as noticeable there, because it felt like you had more of an idea what you were trying to do in neutral here, so I think that some of the stuff against Dre might have just been, like, floundering. Yeah. I was gonna say that part of the reason why I fall back on 6-8 so much against Dre is because uh, I have no idea how to play that matchup. That matchup's neutral, and 6-8 uh, Puffball gets me a lot of damage and knockdown, so yeah. hitting it lets me start pressure. Yeah, I get that. That's basically like uh, my game plan fighting Mei is I have no idea how the hell to fight Mei, but I can be like, you are about to do a move eat either 6-H or jump dust and stay the hell away from me. <laughs> oh, I can't wait until I fight a May that I can't do that to and just get run over. But yeah, so... Oh, wait, did you see anything thing. that you think you need to work on from that set? And that same question to you there, Chari, in chat. Uh... I don't know, it's like... Converting off of... Er... I don't know, there's like a few times where I willingly give up my turn, or my Oki, because I believe I can't meaty safely, and instead I just choose to sit there and just react to what they do, but I don't react to what they're doing fast enough. Gotcha. Yeah, that that's really I just important. Sort of, do you know how to just practice sort of let them get out. making sure that your Oki is tight? Uh, I set the bot to block after I, after they wake up. Uh, you can do that, but that doesn't actually show how tight your Oki is. It just means that they blocked after It was tight enough up. to get them to um, What block. I tend to do is... So, you're in training mode, right? Yeah. So swap to the dummy. Yeah. Hold up back, hit record again, and just hold that until it's like 300 or 400 frames, right? Oh, wait, that's replay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, hey there, Sleeping Owl. Uh, Grand Blue is probably a good entry point to fighting games in general. I don't know specifically about Strive, partially because uh, the game seems to be changing quite a bit. But, uh, so, the thing about Grand Blue is it's a very different style to most anime fighters. I feel like what kind of, like, makes most anime fighters anime fighters is that they have these like crazy options in them you've got like any neutral situation you have cancels to worry about uh for guilty gear you have roman cancels you have air dashes you have all sorts of crazy movement um and grand blue you have a little bit of that like everyone can roll or spot dodge or things like that but the like the moment to moment the number of options is much lower uh, this might be a little bit too in-depth, but I've been talking with a couple people recently, and Grand Blue seems like it has a very set number of options in different situations, so you can like have an idea of like, okay, I blocked this move, here is the option list I am going to pick based off of like risk-reward, rock, paper, scissors, but you're like, I know I blocked this, yeah. here is the situation, whereas Guilty Gear... Uh, very specifically, and it seems like they're trying to emphasize this even more in Strive from what I've seen so far, is very, uh, you know the general situation that you're in, but there is a level of complexity that makes it so that you can never be completely sure where you're at. Um, this is for, like, if you're in a combo, you can generally not be sure where you're at because they have burst, so they always have an option if you're in pressure, it's generally not possible to, on the hit itself, react to if they fault list or instant blocked. So there's like some little window. Uh, also, what part of the world are you in, sleeping? And yeah, uh, Undernight's pretty neat. Uh, I will say, my personal thought is uh, Undernight is really, really good at a whole lot of stuff. I just don't like how there's a couple like kind of arcane systems on top <laughs> like uh, grid is honestly super sick but yeah like little things like that that are i think patches because the uh initial combo system. stuff had some issues in base uni but like unit or unit clear now is super sick i just Man, I don't like some of the combo scaling stuff. I think, but it's it's honestly a really really good starting point, especially because that tutorial is super good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, that is. Oh God, I don't know where anything is. Uh, Quebec. I think that's I'm west. Pretty sure that's east. Okay. Oh well. I don't. Well, <laughs> one of us 50, 50. is probably right, unless it's in the middle. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, oh, I'm wrong. I was right. Yeah. Oh. But... I have such a big brain. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, we have some people who are, like, slowly picking up the game at the moment, so I was gonna offer to hop in for some net play with you, uh, not tonight, but, like, at some point, for gear and teach you right. if you wanted, but, uh, maybe for Strive when there's rollback. <laughs> Alright. Big brain time. We Miles, have I another... swear to God if you come in here with your 19 frame delay. <laughs> hey, no, that was Miles. I, that's why I said Miles. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, big brain idea. We have another Daredevil League, but online this time. Yeah, I was totally down for that until you said the last couple words. Well, yeah, we're West Coast. Else we uh, we're in play? Oregon. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Oregon. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, also, sorry, to get back to what I was initially saying. Uh, yeah, Chari. So you have the uh, equipped sword corner combo. So, yeah, learning the unequipped one just to make sure that you can get it in both situations. And, yeah, the far slash uh, Daro? Durando? However, I don't remember Dado? what it is. Uh, I think it's Daro. Uh, that is, like, really, really, really strong. Because your far slash is actually super amazing. Uh, I don't know if you can, like, delay to confirm... I'm pretty sure you have to do Green Doro just like immediately, but it's still like if you can be like, oh yeah, this is probably gonna hit. It's like, bam, you ready to hit the wall from half screen into Ramoki? <laughs> uh. Oh, but yeah. Um, so sleeping. Depending on what your level of familiarity with fighting games in general is, I would say Grand Blue is a really good starting point for fighting games. Like it's a great entry point. 
Um, yeah. If you are used to fighting games and are trying to get like transition more into anime, then I would definitely recommend either just diving into gear because like, yeah, you're gonna get blown up. But a, you can probably find someone near you who is beginner level, and or like level up pretty quickly. Uh, and B, gear, because it's so complicated, has enough things that you can just lab solo. Uh, I think, I'm assuming you guys came from Pat the Flip stream, and I think he just has a video about this in the past, like, couple weeks. But <laughs> you can just, like, okay, I want to learn this combo, and I want to learn this Oki setup. And you can just, like, do that for a while. And if you really, like, really want to or really need to, you can do that. And then once you have those skills, a higher level than like average, you can then go online with your weaker neutral and still kind of average out to the middle and learn uh, like how to play the neutral from there. It'll be a little bit harder, but yeah, as Adonis, assuming I'm saying that right, said, there is always, always, always something to lab. Especially what do you mean? Here. I'm perfect. There's nothing I could be laving right now that I'm very bad at. <laughs> so how are those meaty timings going? <laughs> I keep forgetting to turn the bot on. Sick. <laughs> Got him. Also, is it that if I don't meaty correctly, they'll tech out in the air? Uh, yes, if, you, if they are in the air, then it means that you were late. If you whiff, it means you were early. And if you hit them and they are on the ground, it basically means that is, uh, it's like within three frames of them getting up. All so, right, the champion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, you know, you might be one frame off. Uh, you might get pop bustered, but that is how I. Hey. Uh, that's how I train right. safe jumps. Is just <laughs> knock them down, make them hold up back, and time it so that I hit as low as possible. And if they're on the ground, then I know I was safe from a reversal, as long as yeah. I was low enough. <laughs> also, some of it is if I mash out with, like, 2k, 2k, 2d against Potemkin, I'm just not even going to try to meaty, because they're too far away. They have too fast a wake-up timing. I'm just <laughs> like, whatever, I got a card. It's neutral time. You're Potemkin. I'll just run away. Hell, get greedy. Get a second card. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I am in Pop Buster range. Uh, when I am carding, by the way. Oh, okay, yeah, don't do that then. <laughs> uh, also, Dre, I can message you on Discord, but I'm just gonna, like, upload the VODs tonight, if you can just, like, check them there, if that's easier. And yeah, thanks, uh, I, thanks for tuning into the stream, sleeping. Potemkin's danger zone is this big. Yes, because uh, we can all see you. Well, I'm I, in the I Discord made... call with you, and I can't see you. <laughs> well, I, I made a meme. You know, I, I thought of a picture in my head and replicated it in real life, and I'm just transmitting my brainwaves over the stream, so clearly everyone will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have sure. a big brain. Uh, also, since we actually have a decent number of people uh, on stream at the moment, I'm trying to figure out... I'm probably going to do one more VOD review before we head to bed tonight, because it is 10.30 over here. Uh, so I can either do Obero's request from Grand Blue, which is him versus uh, Ash here. Ooh. I have me versus Unhawk Grands from the end of February, and me versus Ash Grands from MiyakoCon. Okay, so one flip a coin. So, or, wait. So yeah, sorry. So Grand Blue for Obro, Gear for Unhawk, or Gear for me and Ash. If anyone in chat cares, it's like throw your vote out, right. or at least for Grand Blue versus Gear. I'm assuming right, it's someone... going to be gear focused, but like uh, we'll see. Someone make a straw poll <laughs> for like five people. Set. So, I don't know how many people are here. Uh. It says 15 active. All right, for 15 people. I'm not going to do it, even though I am also in, you know, I'm too busy practicing, you know? <laughs> Ooh, that was a black, that was a bunch of black beads. All right, we have one vote for gear. Oh, actually, I guess it... Big gamer Here, moments. Let me put a little bit more info. I'm just going to type it in chat. Uh, one is going to be... 
exerd token l felt saying on pot two is grand blue Narmaya versus oh hey it's Narmaya ditto <laughs> yeah and three is exerd l felt v johnny Okay, so I think we've I got, can't uh, do line breaks on Twitch. Ooh, rip! Well, that's... Wait, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, it didn't. I I think I just have to send it as different messages. Yeah, just oh. put like one, two, or three in chat. <laughs> three, two, three. All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. I'll see what the thing is. <laughs> God damn it, Diamond Mew. <laughs> when I'm back, it'll probably be like less than a minute. Uh. All right, guys. I need. Oh, pot. Pot is Potemkin. And not the weed. Potemkin, or is uh the Guilty Gear announcer likes to say, Chumpkin. <laughs> uh, dude, that you you think a pot smokes pot under that helmet of his? It looks almost like a pot. Yeah, 